going on everybody? Welcome back and uh, we're back with question of the week. We haven't done one of these in quite a while. In a long time. <laughs> so I just was thinking of stuff, you know, uh, and this kind of popped up the other day and I, I sprung it on Jay who's, he didn't really need much time to think about it, but even though after he's dwelled on it, the answer is still exactly the same. So my question of the week for everybody, including all of us here at Triangle of Truth, if you could cast yourself as a live action hero or villain in a known universe, DC's, Marvel, you name it, any of the known universes, who would you cast yourself as and why? So Jay, mm -hmm. who would you cast yourself as, why? Wolverine. <laughs> It'd be Wolverine, and the main reason being is the height. I'm about 5'3 on a good day. <laughs> um, and I'm telling you, uh, my teeth need to come out anyway, so instead of giving, what are they called, implants, you guys just put magnets in there, I can switch out and put the Wolverine-like teeth, because you know his teeth are, his little thingy, uh, get me a nutritionist, and uh, what do they call them, it's, it's a personal Train. trainer, but I thought it was like, uh, okay, personal trainer, and uh, get me bulked up, I, I would totally... I, t I would might not be as good as Hugh Jackman because I don't think there's anybody on the planet that could beat Hugh Jackman, but uh, I think I'd make a pretty kick-ass Wolverine. All right, so that's pretty simple. So me being me, I was like, well, who can I be? The obvious answer of me being a big dude is somebody like Kingpin or somebody that's just a bigger character overall. Now nah, I'm gonna challenge myself because this is one of those where if I did it, I actually genuinely would kind of want to get into shape do the nutrition, yep. the personal trainer, you know, finally be sexy, match the personality that I have. So I chose Captain Adam from DC. Why? Biggest reason, never been done before live action, that I know of. I've seen, he's been in animated movies, for sure, a couple of them. Um, of course, he's got his own comic run, and mine would be based around the New 52 uh, version of him. Yep which that's the version that I know, that's the version that I read. I've got a New 52 trade, I've also got one that's more around the, the Rebirth era, which is the rise and fall of Captain Adam, and those things. And not to mention, he is a badass. Like, he actually does have a hell of a power set, and rumors are he's like Superman level strong, from what I've heard. Again, with all comics, that literally just depends on who's writing. Yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's because he's he's that much of a badass. He looks cool, and it's yeah. never been done. And I, I have a general tendency to lean towards characters that are not as well known for whatever reason. Like, you can ask him. Um, the first time they ever asked me years ago before I started reading comics, well, who do you like? Who's your favorite? And I always, and I've said it for years, Daredevil. And I get looked at cross-eyed. This was before the movie, definitely before the TV show and whatnot. I liked, I liked Daredevil before Daredevil became cool yeah. to most people. And so that's kind of my reason here with Captain Adam. Because technically, who I would really love to be, but he's already been done in person. I think Jensen Ackles needs to play him anyway, is Red Hood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huge Red Hood fan. But... To me, it's just give Jensen the role. Jensen's voiced him. Jensen looks like him. Yeah. I don't care if Jensen's 50. Jensen looks like he's 30. So, you know, he's, that guy's ageless. So, yeah, give me Captain Adam, and that's who I would do. Um, and that's that's pretty much all we've got here for this one. It's just kind of a short and sweet. Get the question out. We want to have some fun with you guys. So in the comments below, let us know who you would cast yourself as. And I am excited to hear about it. I know Jay's excited to hear about it. Yep, um, just any, any universe. It doesn't have to be Marvel or DC. It could be if you wanted to be Spawn in Image or Invincible or, you know, people from Scout or Source Point or just any, any comic book character you can think of. Yep. You know, um, another well-established one, although I'm not sure what characters I haven't been running, uh, The Boys is another big live-action one if you want to add, add yourself into that universe. Umbrella Academy, mm -hmm. Jupiter's Legacy. I mean, you got all these different universes. These are just... Captain Adam's one that I've kind of been setting on for a while just because of... I've found the trades that I mentioned a little more recently. Mm -hmm. I haven't read them yet like a dummy, and I've had them for a couple of years. <laughs> But there are times I just forget what I've got for a trade. So I, I'm going to pull it out, especially the Rise and Fall one, because 
that was one where I kept trying to find the number one in the store, and they mm. never got it. Finally, when they got the trade, I was like, I need to just buy it, because if I don't get it now, then I'm going to be pissed off, and I'm never going to have this book. So, yeah. anyways, we'll, always, we'll catch you guys soon. As always, please, stay safe, stay healthy. Catch you guys next time. Later, everybody. Later, Tots.